What's going on guys? Welcome to another Modern Monday for those of you on YouTube and Modern Sunday if you're watching live on Twitch. Um, today we're playing a deck that was, uh, I'll use the word commissioned by turn like by Twitch viewer Turn 1 Blood Moon, uh, otherwise also known as Brandon, and uh, has a sweet Master Transmuter list into Blightsteel Colossus, preferably. Uh, we also have Relic in the main deck, which is pretty cool. Because that's a good card in modern. Uh, I also like Lightning Greaves. Because not only can you put the Lightning Greaves on the Master Transmuter. Chugrin, thank you so much for the sub. 26 months in a row. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, that is awesome. And I really appreciate it. Um, so you can go Lightning Greaves onto Master Transmuter. Activate Master Transmuter. Put the Lightning Greaves on Blightsteel Colossus. And, um, you know, go to town like that. I'm pretty sure you can also, as far as, uh, as, as, if I remember correctly, and there's no reason textually why this wouldn't work, you can return Master Transmuter for its own ability uh, to put something like a Blightsteel Colossus into play, which is pretty sweet. And uh, if you guys are ever interested in having me take a look at your own decks, play them through a league, and provide feedback for you, uh, be sure to check out my Twitch profile. It is something I offer, and uh, it's just a, another way you can help support the stream. So I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, we're going to run this guy through a league, see what happens, and um, I'm kind of excited to do so. One of the first articles I ever wrote, like eight years ago, I think, um, probably maybe closer to nine now, uh, for TCG Player was a Master Transmuter list. Yeah, I think it was around 2009, to be quite honest. Um, Transmuter, Master Transmuter was one of my favorite cards out of Conflux, and I really loved cards like Ethersworn Adjudicator and stuff. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to make this card work. Unfortunately, being a 1-2 for 4 mana in a format like Modern is a little difficult. Um, I do worry about us having Blight Steals and then having to discard them to, like, Thirst for Knowledge. But I think my biggest concern right now is not, outside of these two, not having ways to win the game other than Celestial Colonnade. So I think you really have to protect your Master Transmuter with something like Lightning Greaves. Because otherwise, like, you know, Thirst for Knowledge can't win us the game, Fabricate can't win us the game, Remand, Greaves, Mindstone, Talisman, they can't win us the game. Serum Visions, Path, and Relic. So we actually just have Colonnades. Um, but we do have an Academy Ruins also to uh, to get, like, a Master Transmuter back if we need it. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. The best part about Modern is that you do have the freedom to play decks like this. And uh, they could actually just be good. I guess we'll find out. Transmuter does not care about Shroud, no. Return it, because it doesn't target. It says return an artifact you control to its owner's hand. So it's a, it's a choose, not a not a target. And then we can just toss on the Greaves. We can put some boots on this guy. Because that's not a weird image. I will play first. I feel like if we... Eh, this hand has everything I want. We do want to be able to get a, uh, a Blightsteel Colossus, but we also have um, Serum Visions. We can find some things. I have also not seen this deck in Modern, but, I mean, I'm familiar with the idea. Quite familiar. Um, I'll bottom you and we'll top you. We'll just play you and Relic next turn. Chugrin, glad you like it. If you guys are watching on Twitch, there is uh, a button on the overlay if you're watching on, on your desktop uh, that you can click and it gives you a list of the decks. Or the deck, the deck that we're playing. So we are going to go Relic of Progenius. That's not what it's called. Why would he say that? Stupid Jawa, 36 months in a row. Thank you so much. Or 30 months in a row. Thank you so much, man. You're closing out on three years. You can also move the button as well if you guys are watching. Uh... Opponents said I like that card main. So it feels like we're actually going to have a, a, decent, a decent game with a reasonable human being, which is nice. So turn one Blood Moon. Um, I am also super excited... I'm excited. Let's say you said you're super nervous to see how the deck does. I'm excited to see how the deck does. I'm not nervous because, honestly, I don't know how a deck like this will fare in Modern. 
so I'm, I don't have, I, I, it's weird to say, I don't have super high expectations just because I know how aggressive a format modern is. However, that being said, I'm really hoping that we can do some cool stuff. Yeah, that's fine. All right, looks like we're playing Merfolk. Oh, this, the, I guess the cavern should have given that away, but what do I know? I don't know if I like Relic in the main deck. Um, I, maybe we should have cracked one of them seeing that they had Merfolk. Yeah, that's fine. I just want to do cool things. That's literally all I want to do in modern. Um, let's get rid of the graveyards. Oh my god, really? Why is this happening? Well, we're going to have a bunch of mana, so that's cool. Oh my goodness gracious. We still have four mana. We basically hit all of our land drops, right? On turn four? Sure. I feel like we can thirst to discard the other relic and then try to hit a land drop. I feel like we actually have a lot of time right now. <sighs> oh, that's pretty good. Do we just run out transmuter and just assume they don't have a way to deal with it? Curse catcher. What is this? Like, what is their answer for master transmuter? Just bounce it? I feel like it's just Greaves keep up remand here. And then we can actually transmuter, equip, activate transmuter, blightsteel, equip. We can just probably win next turn. I mean, assuming they like tap out. Dismember is annoying. What are you up to? <laughs> oh, we have a good time. I mean, we're still going to win next turn. Like whether we do whether we transmuter that turn or next turn, we still have to wait till next turn to to activate. So it's not like we're um we're not like doing it's not like we're doing the worst play here. You got it. Chris, what's going on, buddy? Oh, Iron Chef Sammy, you thought it cost three? Because then we could play this equip, but then we still wouldn't have enough mana to activate. So, unless you thought it cost two, which is significantly... Did we let this resolve? Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, we're not dead yet. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, if they play another lord. I guess at some point we have to be able to counter one of the lords. Man. I don't think we actually have to thirst because we just have everything we need. I'm trying to figure out if there's a thing they can have that saves them. I mean, they could block with one dude. Which would be master, and I think we die then. Guess we just take eleven. Oh no! Don't have another go. Oh, that's scary. Guess we do take the fourteen. I think we're dead. That's sad. We went from being real close to winning to real close to losing. Um, discard an artifact. We're a relic. We did get a land, which is okay. Yeah, they just block with one guy. We do have path, I guess, but now they have two guys, so. We also don't have a white source, don't forget. We have a spreading seas land. Yeah, they just chump block and they take seven poison, and then we die. I did a Google search for modern lightning greaves, pulled up Nana. 
That's pretty hilarious, actually. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't think we show them because we have no reason to. I think we just scoop here and we'll go to the next, next game. This is a... I'd like to say this is an ensnaring bridge matchup, but I don't know how low we can get our hand. I kind of like fragmentize. I don't really like remand against uh, Merfolk. Like, ensnaring bridge I want to bring in, but... I don't know if... I'll oh, we'll take the relics out too, obviously. We'll bring in Fragmentize. We'll bring in Snaring Bridge Arena. And we'll bring in the Batter Skull. All right, that seems good. That was actually... I mean, all things considered, like... We were surprisingly close. I will play first. I don't think he realizes that I'm calling that he's calling it Lightning Greaves and not Lightning Greaves, which is kind of funny. Yeah, this hand seems great. I we're just gonna serum visions here. Uh, we can play fragmentize on turn two as well. We don't need two mana for anything, but. I want both of these. Put on top, put on top. Oh, perfect. Just the best. Because you're the best around. And nothing's going to ever keep you down. You're the best. Get fragmented on. That is the Lord of Atlantis. Yes, yes, me lord. Um, I guess we just bridge here. We don't need a land, so I'd rather play Thirst next turn when we need to hit a land. And then we can discard something else if we draw it. What up, Unseen spect Spectario? I think it might be a better choice than Fragmentize just because it uh, deals with all of the deals with all of the Aether Vials whereas uh, Fragmentize only deals with one but they might have ways to deal with Metal Duck Knight thank you so much for the the cheers buddy the bits I never know what to call them chips or cheers or bits maybe we'll call them chits or beers we'll call them beers um but the thing is, like, if they're bringing an artifact removal because they saw, you know, Ensnaring Bridge, they, they saw Lightning Greaves, um, then it makes sense to just want to get rid of it instead of relying on an artifact to... Fragmentize does kill the Spreading Seas, too, which is relevant. I'm going to play this. And I'm going to assume you don't have a Dismember. This is a... This is an assumption that I'm making. Also, I don't think you have counterspells that aren't remands. All right. I feel like we're... I feel like we're, we're so close. We're so close to doing things that are... That are cool, super cool things. <laughs> Where is my island? That is a good question. How about we fra fabricate, fabricate here? Uh, 
What? That's rude. Wow, you were the rudest. That is not okay. I thought we were, I thought we was friends. I can also path one of their guys and just make the other ones unable to attack. Which seems pretty solid. I don't think we care about that. I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be frank with you here. <laughs> That's my name. Um, I'm tempted to just path your guy to put us down to two cards, but then this guy's a two-two anyway, so that doesn't really work, I guess. We're gonna block and then bounce with a master transmitter, then replay a master transmitter. How's that sound? Look at this sick tech. Boop. <laughs> it's like it never happened. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, man. Good times. Good times. Oh, Academy Ruins, eh? God, I want a thirst here because I guess we just play other Master Transmuter and then, like, you can't attack anymore. And that seems okay. Even if you counter this, like, I accept. Now, how are you going to make those guys small? I guess you can bounce one of my guys. Man, that Fabricate was so relevant. Why would you do that to me? Look at that. No attacks. Love it. Why don't you island walk yourself on out of here, buddy? That's what I always say. <gasps> oh. Glorious day. Let's just pass here. We don't got no greaves. We can just wait. And we, with two of these up, they can't like bounce our dude or anything. So that's pretty good. Let's go blue. Bounce. I'll return... What are we bouncing here? Probably herself. To put this bad Larry into play. <laughs> it's my friend. This is what you get for picking on me. And now we still have Master Transmuter up so we can protect. We can protect. What does this do? What does this do? What are you going to put in here? Oh, that's just a cute little fish. That's a cute little fishy. That's, look at all these cute little fish. Bounce that. Play this Master Transmuter. I guess I could path at least... I could path one of these dudes. Probably the Lord. I mean, we're going to have to, right? And we, we play around Spell Pierce this way, so... Look at all your beautiful islands. Look what your special islands... Um, I feel like we want to dig for something else because we want to kill them, but I guess they have to block, right? And then we literally just get to go Mindstone and Snaring Bridge and then just bounce those things. Go to one. 
well, you know, virtual one. So if we, oh, all right, cool. We were going to play Ensnaring Bridge, but I don't even know if it's worth it. Like, we can actually just block and then bounce and do, do a thing. And Good times, good times. I am satisfied with the things that have, have happened. They're not playing white, which is nice, because we don't have to worry about, like, Path to Exile. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I'm going to keep this hand. I don't know if they can beat Triple Ensnaring Bridge. Especially as a blue deck. I don't know if we can beat Triple Ensnaring Bridge either, though. So we'll have to be careful with that. Oh, that's really sad. But they don't have a guy on turn two? And we get to resolve Mindstone definitely? I think earlier someone said you can fragmentize the spreading seas if you need a white source, but you can't actually fragmentize the spreading seas if you need the white source. So that's actually kind of funny. I don't know if the Merfolk deck plays Echoing Truth. Oh, Lord of Atlanti. All right, so you 100% have to have... I guess we just ensnaring Bridge here and uh, assume you're going to counter it. Yeah, that's fine. One down, two to go. I do, but I'm bad at magic. Okay, well, that's fair. I will take six damage, which is a sizable amount. Um. Okay, that's good. Now we're getting somewhere. One, two, three... You can come down. I guess we should have kept Path Mana up. I was looking at this and I thought it was going to be a thing, but it is not. So we could, they get another hit in, but this might be the last time. Tectonic Edge. That's aggressive. So 4, 8, 11. We go to 3, and that's good times. Path here would be nice. But you know, sometimes you you don't get that you don't get that path. I think we're actually dead because we didn't get the path last turn. That's really sad. I'm not sure if we could have won otherwise, but one, two, three. Maybe not. Actually, we can play both of these, and we can play actually three things. Now we're not dead yet. Fragmentize on you. Oh, do they have the other spell pierce? It doesn't matter if you do. This is actually just a... I will assume you have a pierce in hand. Oh! All right. Oh, if they have Spell Pierce in hand, actually, you should have played Path first. That's pretty bad. Oh, no, it's not, because it doesn't have to get countered, actually. It just has to put us two cards. Never mind. That's That was the plan. You don't have to actually... Um, if it's Remand, then we're dead. But Remand would kill us anyway, because they'd put a card back in our hand. Oh, boy. I thought we were, I thought we were having a good time up until now. Um, yeah, I don't think we could have beaten this anyway. Like, if this is our go-to, I guess we could have... We would have been at maybe seven, and then we path a guy, and we take six. But then they just attack with Mutavolt, so I think we would have actually... 
I mean, I literally thought you guys, I thought you guys were joking about Hercules Recall. Um, still, yeah, we're just dead here. I, I mean, still closer than I would have expected. I wonder if making this more white based and putting like uh, Supreme Verdicts in here is is reasonable. Because you literally have two creatures in the deck. You have Master Transmitter and Blightsteel Colossus, and it already feels like kind of a control deck. I thought that was one of the easy I would have thought that was one of the easier matchups for us just because you're not um, you're not having to deal with removal. You're just having to deal with so like you can play you can openly play a master transmuter. Whereas like um, playing against like Jund or something, they're gonna have like lightning bolts or you know, thought seizes, things of that nature. Which are problematic. So, I will play first. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. I mean, we have the combo. I don't hate Cryptic Command. I like the uncounter ability of Supreme Verdict, but I also like the fact that you can have a Master Transmuter in play and still play Cryptic Command. So I think they both have their pros and cons. Plus, Relic of Progenitus in the main deck is such gas sometimes. <laughs> Zaxor, I did get your message. Um... If you want to understand, I'm suggesting for friends since you have not yet to play for planes or Um, honestly, I'm not gonna have. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a chance to do any more cubes before Wednesday, but Masters comes out and on Friday. So if you want to, if you want me to do a modern ma uh, Masters 25 stipulation, that is that sounds pretty cool. And I'm down for that. I'm pretty sure we just crack relic, like so we have a chance to draw another land next turn. I think we'll just I think we'll just take one here. I don't feel I don't feel incredibly threatened by this. Oh, I see. Well, I don't think your graveyard's gonna be relevant. I know that's a bold a bold assumption. Don't be don't be denying me lands. Oh wow, thank you. Oh, thank you. So I'm pretty sure we just go this and we can play Mind Stoner Ruski. And then we can keep up remand. Uh, we can serum visions and keep up remand. I kind of like that. Let's do that. Uh, I don't think we need a second master transmuter, but maybe they have removal. I don't know. I also don't think we need thirst here. I don't think I'm okay with either of these cards. I don't think this is a deck where we're going to have time to thirst. Uh, the goblin deck, that is. I do want to kind of avoid lightning bolts, but I imagine you're going to play Goblin Chieftain. The 2-2 two -two that gives haste and plus one, plus one. That seems likely. Legion Loyalist. That's fine. The next one you play is not, that is not happening. Don't you ever, don't you ever, boy, oh boy. That's a thing. Can we survive next turn? Oh, gross. Five. See, another situation where Supreme Verdict would just be fantastic. I think Supreme Verdict is where we want to be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like, we know they have Bushwhacker next turn. That's pretty brutal. That I don't know how to deal with. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we're basically dead unless we block with Master Transmuter. Which doesn't seem ideal. 
And I think we're dead if we don't, because these are going to be two. So we're still taking 12. Pile driver gets plus six and plus seven, so it's eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. And we can block the two one. Like he's gonna have three two ones. And they all have first strike too, so they're not even killing anything. Despite having a turn one bushwhacker, I feel like. I feel like they uh, they came back pretty well. I also think with fabricates, with four fabricates in the deck, um, having one copy of like ensnaring bridge in the main deck is pretty good. <laughs> Whoops. All right, we got one more draw we can... Oh, no no bueno, no bueno. Um, yeah, that's going to do it. We're dead. Dead on board. All right. There's a Greaves. All right, so... Batter Skull can come in. Relics can come out again. I don't even think I like Remand here. We'll bring in the Bridges again. Fragmentized, no. Pithing Needle, no. Probably other Sworn Cannonist, I think. Just having a blocker is good. Let's take out the Talisman. And also, like, it prevents them from going Guy, Guy, Bushwhacker. So. All in all, my biggest concern with this deck is we. it feels like we are one turn away. It feels like we're one turn too slow. I will play first. Oof, double greaves and five lands. Ooh, not ideal. Ship it. Um, no, no playables in this hand. So, the more we mulligan, the better our ensnaring bridge gets, interestingly enough. I mean, do we want to keep a hand where we can't do anything until turn three against the goblin deck? I don't think so. I mean, this is probably the best we're going to get. Ensnaring bridge on the top? Oh, they went to 4-2, though, so we're actually not terrible here. Oh, they went to 3. All right. We did it. <laughs> I'll put you on... I'll greedily put you on the bottom. Well, that's actually... Gonna, we have 3 lands. That's not greedy. Wow, now I actually feel like them going to, to 3... With no lands? Oh, boy. We did it, boys. <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. Ron! Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. Fill my hand, buddy. Mind stone. That's fine. No blocks. And just play plans here. I might just crack the Mind Stone. We don't need five lands. And uh, I, I'm, I'm going to hold back other Sworn Cannonists because there might be a situation where we just want to block. Like, if they go Bushwhacker, I'm probably going to block. They don't really have the mana to play multiple things in one turn, so... I'd rather be able to cut off the, the Goblin Guide beats now since it's their only source of damage than take, like... Oh, no... Everything has changed. See, now we don't get a chance to block. So it means Spirit Guide into another Goblin Guide. All right, that's pretty good. Wow, what's even happening right now? Pretty, 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 pretty. Serum Vision. All right, well, we can actually Serum Vision to put a land on top. We should have actually cracked just to... Just to maybe try to draw another land, but... Hmm, bottom both. Actually, we're going to draw. Might as well bottom this guy, and we'll put this one on top because we're drawing the... So we're going to draw at least one land. All right, they got two cards in hand. One one mana, two cards. Blocking will happen. We'll draw a land. And a... Fl uh, what was the other card? Oh, and Snaring Bridge. 
That's pretty good. So we just go land and snaring bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're 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 halfway there. Living on a prayer, take my hand. We are gonna crack this mine stone now. Let's fetch first. We can go to eleven here. Let's get another hollowed fountain. No. Mine stone A. Oh, another another flooded strand, huh? Oh, we did it. <laughs> well, they get another attack, so if we like what we see, we can keep it. If we don't, we can uh we can shuffle it away. So maybe it's maybe it's for the best. They're just letting us scry, basically. Oh, and Snaring Bridge number two. I almost want to keep that just because it lets us um, get rid of the card. Like, I don't want to have two lands in my hand. So, we're just going to play both. And now we can uh, just sit here and... Oof. Well, here we go. Two more lightning bolts and we're dead. Where's the ley line of sanctity when you need it? This is where they lightning bolt goblin grenade us. And then we just feel terrible about our life choices. Here we go. Okay, we're at one. Whew. Good thing we didn't crack that flooded strand, am I right? I don't think we can actually... One, two, three. So even if we crack this and we draw like Master Transmitter, we can't play it. So we're going to pass, make sure they can't attack us with, uh, I guess they could still attack us if they have like a third goblin guide. Okay, that guy doesn't have haste. But it is a 1-1. One, one. We'll discard one artifact, we'll get rid of Blightsteel. Should have also got... Yeah. Don't be a land. All right. Well, we have Transmuter to block. Greaves, huh? Okay. Well, not ideal. Don't do that. I think we're dead. They have three cards. It have to, it have, to have like a lightning bolt. Um, we have to we have to block here, unfortunately. This is super cool. They have, they have, they mulliganed to three and had one land. This is just a ridiculous amount of damage. I feel like we should have blocked with the other sworn cannonist a turn sooner. I think we would have taken we would have taken four less, right? So if they don't have another one drop though. We actually draw Greaves, Blightsteel, Colossus, and kill them. Maybe. We do have to get past one other Ensnaring Bridge, so. So I guess we have one turn. So, we can also one, two, three, thirst. At least we now we have a guy that blocks, so that's pretty good. Uh, we could Thirst, draw three, we'd go up to four cards, we discard two cards, we still stay at two. But if one's a land, it gets around. We're going to have two blockers, though. I guess we can, we can always wait to do that. All right, last turn. That is not as scary. 
because he does not have Hasterino. I think we just won. That's pretty sweet. Hey, that's pretty good. This guy has to attack, right? Bow it out. Bounce this. Put that dude out. Block you. And he gets poison counters? What a deal. Our opponent's like, I see. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, Lightning Greaves, number dose. Bounce you. Drop a Greaves. Put you. Oh, got him. All right, sweet. Remand actually might be good for the uh, the goblin grenades. Hmm. I can take out one thirst and one fabricate for two leyland. I think that seems fine. Come on, one time with the. Uh, one time with the Leyline in the opening hand. I have a fiction on what's going on, buddy. No, no, man, no lightning greaves in the opening hand. I'll keep this hand anyway, though. Or not lightning greaves. Um, what do you call it? Um, Leyline, Leyline greaves. Watch, it's gonna be it's gonna be right on the top. You ready? Oh my god, with the freaking goblin guides, dude. Oh, that was a good draw. Thank you. Oh, thank you. See, yeah, fill my eyes with those serum visions. Boom, 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 boom. Get rid of flood strand. Let's go. Sometimes I just get a planes here. Oh my god. That was a lot of flooded strands. Oh god, here we go. This is how we died. This is how we died. I don't want these cards in my hand. I want a discard outlet. Can I just have a discard outlet right now? I think we're dead. I, I feel like they have two mana and f three goblins. We're dead. It's not good. It's not good. And they mulled to five. Like, their mulligans have been very, very good. Here comes Bushwhacker. Are you ready? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bushwhacker gives haste, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not a bushwhacker. I mean, you still take five, I guess. Path to exile. Now we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere very slowly, albeit, but we're getting somewhere. This guy's dead. They're going to five us. Right now. Yep. How do you know these things? We also have to crack this for a, for a thing. For a basic planes. God, bridge doesn't even do anything here, right? But we die if we don't play bridge, so. I mean, we die if we do play bridge, but at least now we can go to five, kill this guy, and then hope you don't have lightning bolt as one of your last two cards, right? At least we'll see what you're you're offering us. Island. What was the other one? Greaves. All right, go to five. Go to two. Two. Doggone life. I think we're. There's no way we actually. Like Supreme Verdict has been like the one card that I'm thinking this is. Uh, this deck is missing. It also, if I recall, it fits perfectly on the curve. Yeah, like it's they would just three supreme verdict right here would be perfect. 
I like it better than Remand. This doesn't feel like a Remand deck because we're literally tapping out every turn. Smash to smithereens. That'll do, pig. All good games, you. Yeah. All right, not bad, not bad. So we we've we've lost one two both times, which is pretty sweet. So I don't hate that. Where'd our league go? Come on back, league. All right, we can. Let's. Plus, we played aggro decks. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if that's a good matchup for us. It feels bad because we just it forces us to do things um, before they win, and unfortunately, they're not a like this is not a, a combo a modern combo deck that wins on turn four. It's a modern combo deck that kind of gets started on turn four, so it's definitely a slower combo deck um, in terms of modern. But uh, what makes this better than through the breach deck? Um, the cool factor is literally the only thing. Um, if you're asking me what deck, like me specifically, what deck I'm playing, why a deck, what a deck I'm playing has over a tier one modern deck, um, it's off, the answer is often going to be not much. Um, I'm not really ever trying to play it, make, make a deck, find a deck that's better than Through the Breach or better than Affinity or better than whatever. I'm just trying to do cool stuff in modern. So, and I, I feel like you know that Selena Gomez Prime. I feel like you know that. Key to the city, huh? I actually... Key to the city could be good. Unblockable Blightsteel Colossus. Um, God, this hand... I'm going to keep this hand. It's kind of iffy. No Burts. What's going on? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. No Beats. That's an old... That's an old meme. Not too bad, buddy. How about yourself? Oh my God! Not again. Okay. Well, you're giving me things. At least we're for, at least we're, we got give me a, give me a serum visions or a path. Four drop. That's good. That's that's the other thing. I was like, oh, four drop works too. Do 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 do. Oh, here we go. Boros charms coming at you. Triple aggressive decks in a row, man. Merfolk, goblins into burn. Oh my god. My only problem with ensnaring bridge in this deck, um, it's basically the perfect shell for it, in terms of uh, in terms of theme. But it's really hard to. It's really hard to to empty your hand fast enough for the aggressive decks. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, now we can empty our hand pretty quickly now that we have to discard because we have so many excess cards. But yeah, like I think in Staring Bridge, um, it almost becomes... And it's also counterproductive with your Blightsteel Colossus. I mean, it's easy to bounce once you have Master Transmitter in play, but, you know, if, they, if, if you swap over your... Eh, I guess there's no real way to... Yeah, we're at eight already. They can just... I think we're dead. And they didn't even play anything for us to remand. Oh, they rift bolted, though. We got a rift bolt incoming. Yeah, this is rough. This is barely a game. We can just play this. And, like, we block here. And we still take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We go to one. And that doesn't include anything that's in their hand. And we have to show them... And if we even just remand the Rift Bolt, we still have to... Uh, we still take six and go to two. <laughs> and they still have five cards in hand. Well, they'll have six because of the Rift Bolt, but you get the point. This has not been a, uh, a favorable series of matches for us, unfortunately. Oh, I see. Why didn't you play that last turn to pump your Monastery Swift Spear? That's interesting. 
So we go to five. And then you have five on board. I guess we can reman this, but then we still go to five and you have six on board. So actually that's literal death. Unless we find, if we find a path, what happens? Like we go to five. Crack for path. Um, we go to five. We path this guy. We go to, we go to, this still resolves. So actually we're dead no matter what. Yeah, that's, that's game like four ways from Sunday. Four ways from taking back Sunday, whatever. This is a perfect Leyline matchup, though. Pretty bad Relic matchup, though. Uh, to get the Talisman of Progress, I never want to tap you for mana to get the Remands. Um, bring in Bridges. Other Sworn Cannonist. I think we'll take out Fabricate for another Bridge, and we'll take out Thirst for another Cannonist. Actually, bring in Batter Skull, too. Batter Skull seems good. Just take out one blight steel. I don't want to. I don't crowd my hand with blight steels. Tyler James Gardner. How do I do that? Actually, that's a. That's a. I didn't know that was a thing, dude. I didn't know I could actually run it through like a debugger, so it can update the uh, the stream. I had no idea that that was a thing. That has plagued me forever, because every time I post to like Facebook or whatever, it'll say like cube drafting and i'm like oh well it's not cube drafting i wish the i wish they could the, the cache would refresh or whatever and um i never knew how to do that it's super it's like the most it's the most it's the most frustrating thing ever but it's one that it, like i do, doesn't have like a super obvious fix so i just kind of like eh, i guess i'll just deal with it facebook used to let you edit those like edit the the fields for those um but apparently not anymore and even so, that's still not the, the most ideal uh, solution. But but it makes me feel young. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. I'm going to put you on top, and I'm going to put you on the bottom. Uh, yeah, you can leave. I don't ever want to see your face again. Super lad man, isn't it though? Isn't it Blue Tron though? Where's our Leyline of Sanctity? If whenever I board in Leyline of Sanctity and I don't have it in my opening hand, I almost feel like I got robbed. I'm like, really? Why are you like this? I guess we could have put a land on. Oh no, we didn't have any lands though, so I would rather guarantee that I have this. And I'm just gonna greaves it up. I want to play the things in my hand as soon as I can. We'll, we'll play this next turn and get a planes. If you were a magic zombie, I would scry you to the top every time, buddy. Unless unless I didn't have the mana to cast you. And then I'd probably put you on the bottom. But it's only temporarily. And it's not personal. Oh, the old goblin guide, goblin guide, monastery swift spear on turn two. A classic. You know, like you do. Well, oh, Tyler James Gardner, I just have links disabled in stream. Just can you message it to me on Twitch? I would appreciate it. As you can imagine. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, man. Even used hacks to get the link to me. That's fantastic. Although assume I assume by dot com com you mean just just dot. All right, let's. I guess we're doing this, or we can go get Mindstone. I'd rather just make sure we hit a. I don't even know if it matters at this point. Hitting another white source, like we can be like, okay, you can't target me, but then we just die anyway, right? And we can't even play this guy next turn. I want to put you on the bottom. I'm going to put both of you on the bottom. You are not what I need in my life right now. ATM machine. Perfect. Perfect. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate the link. I will keep this in mind. Believe it or not, we are not attacking here. We may block, though.
I guess we're blocking a goblin Guido here. So I realized that by now I'm the KFC guy. So I went to buy today and they still didn't have half my order available. Oh man, these I do appreciate these KFC updates. Lightning Greaves is not what we need to see on top of our library right now, unfortunately. Oof. That's pretty brutal. That's almost a death sentence here. We take three. Not including whatever Boros Charm nonsense they probably have. Which they didn't play. I'm real confused right now. Okay, that that's that's a that's a death sentence for us. Yeah, I would I would alter this mana base a little bit to accommodate for more white sources. And um off to play Yu-Gi-Oh! That's rude. That's rude. Metal Duck Knight, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the cheers. Or the chip the chip the chips? The the beers. You know what's going on here. Oh my god, I don't want to play anything. This is a death sentence for us because we have no way to get rid of it. I'm looking at so many of these hands where I just wish I had a supreme verdict. I keep saying it, but it's like the, the thing I'm most convinced about. Like, it's it's better than Day of Judgment and um, Wrath of God because it can't be countered. I don't think the regeneration clause is as relevant. And you're if you have two white, you also have a blue, so that's never going to be a concern. Um, however, I think we're just dead here. So I'm going to scoop it up. If we play Fabricate, we take two. And then we go to seven. And then we take one, two, three, four, five. So we're at two life, and they have at least four cards in hand next turn. Um, I, I don't need a PhD in math to figure out that we're probably not surviving that. I will play first. I'm going to keep this hand because it has a lot of things. We can empty it pretty quick and it gives us a bunch of mana to do our things with. We don't have combo pieces, but all three of these can trip. So can I gift the bot a sub? You can. You actually probably can gift MTG bot a sub. Uh, but I actually, I would imagine that gifting it to just someone else in the stream would probably be a bit more appreciated. Um, oh boy. Is it Relic or is it? It's going to be Relic. It's got to be Relic here. I wish we could face one of those decks that just scoop to, uh, to turn one Relic here. Brandon, buddy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that our night has been Goblin Deck, Burn Deck, Burn Deck, Merfolk. I think it's comical, if nothing else. Oh my god, Soul Sisters in these queues would be utterly insane. Oh boy. Um, let's just play a Stone Aruski. I just posted a modern mastery monastery mentor deck in Discord. If you have a chance, can you take a look at that? Man, could probably use some work and the sideboard is pretty. Yeah, definitely. Also, anybody who subscribes, if you guys haven't done so, uh, feel free to if you if you want to sub and support the stream, you do get access to the sweet subscriber Discord channel. Um, there's currently 23 members online and 35 members offline, so there's like 50 people in there, and it's pretty sweet. It's a great place to just hang out and talk about cool stuff. And I imagine if you guys are hanging out in the stream, you have similar similar tastes as all of us, so. God, look at this. Look at this ridiculous, like. 
Yeah, also, if you guys um, don't know how to do that, make sure to, if you log, you have, I think you have to log into the desktop uh, version of Discord, and you can associate your Twitch and your Discord accounts, and it will it will send you an invite to the channel. This is, we're going back old school with Spark Elementals and Kelda Marauders here. Oh, back in my day, we had to attack with a 3-3 that didn't have haste in order to deal 5 damage. I was implying that the bot can't feel human gratitude, and um, I, I agree. Uh, I will be the reason that Skynet happens, I guess. Oh my god, all these greaves. <laughs> I'm basically grieving for these matchups, if you know what I mean. You probably do. It wasn't that. It wasn't a complicated joke. It was actually pretty, pretty straightforward. Probably should have just played Hollow Founder, Flooded Strand. I didn't. I didn't add mana here. I don't care though. I looked at a Discord once to try and figure it out. Then I just shook my head and said, "Man, I'm too old for this." It was the first time I felt that way. I honestly, I felt the same way about Discord at first. Um, it does have a, a pretty high learning curve because there's a lot of things going on. I feel like you were an adult when I was a kid, so that makes you my dad. I don't know if that's how that works, but I don't know if I can argue with it either. So. I'm okay, Dad. I guess we'll just go with that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Are you going to sack this guy for some, some crazy thing and shoot me in the face? Are you going to fling him? You're totally going to fling this guy at me. What's even happening right now? Are you going to skull crush me? I mean, you got... What up, Chris? They're definitely deciding what to do here. Playing the Madabu with Colossus at the top. This is the deck that put up all the stops. Merfolk was unfair and we tapped the wrong land. And now we're facing Goblins with Colossal Daddy in hand. Wow, I like that you remembered that we tapped the wrong land in Merfolk. That was like four matches ago, buddy. But aggro red decks are real scary. I have a feeling this game can get hairy. But nevertheless, we won't give up today. But with one life, the whole chat has to pray. Opponent can take the life, but not the game. Please subscribe and feel no shame. Oh, man. Zaxor, always a pleasure, buddy. What's going on here? I think my opponent... I think they died. Sometimes when I play all the the soundboard things, I feel like a DJ, like a like a radio, like a like one of those cheesy radio DJs. Well, like, yes, like Dingo and the Baby. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, that's actually hilarious. What is that, Family Guy? Is that an old school Family Guy reference? Hey, welcome to... Uh, I don't... I, I'm not going to do it. I have nothing here. One, two, three. We have five mana. If we... I don't know what we could draw here, actually. What are they doing? They just got to... Just kill this dude. Just put him in the trash can. Fling, fling him at my face, and let's move on. Oh, boy. I don't think I, I don't have big gulps ready here. I can actually, I'll open it up and play it. I don't even care. I took big gulps off there because it didn't, I tried to keep ones that have game relevance, like in-game relevance. And I took some of the ones off that didn't, that they were just kind of cool. 
Hey, guys. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. That's <laughs> so good. But it just makes no sense. There's no context where you can actually play this and be like, oh, I know exactly what happened in that game because of the big gulp sound bite. So... Oh, they lost the connection. What if I, I can play that and then attack with Blightsteel Colossus? Well, see you later. I feel like when our opponent does a less than optimized play, we just do this, right? You done messed up, A.A. Ron! I feel like you done messed up, A.A. Ron, is really, uh, really fulfills that role. Harry, I took care of it. Our, heads, pe our pet's heads are falling off. So, um, you guys come here often, or... The problem is this, the um, the stream deck, it only has, I have one arrow to go back up to the previous, like to, to go up one level in the folders, which leaves me with 14 soundboard slots, and uh, they're all full right now. They are all full. So soundboard slot space is at a premium. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Pretty, 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 pretty full. I think our opponent literally... I think they literally died. I hope they didn't, because that's terrible. But it's not looking good. It feels like you're running at an incredible rate. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, Dumb and Dumber is a very, very quotable movie. That is 100% correct. Sup with you, nerd? I just have to say, when someone Silumgard, your Ral's Eric, and took three turns, and you said nothing and just played the no, just stop meme club. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a moment right there. I, uh... So... The best part about that, if you guys haven't haven't checked it out, uh, it's on YouTube. It's I think it's Cube Draft number ten, I believe. It just went up yesterday, I believe. Cube Draft number eight, Legacy Cube Draft number eight, three eleven. Um, Amber is the color of energy. Um, but I didn't win a match. Spoilers. But the way I lost every single match was so spectacular that I felt like it was worth putting in there. Every single match I lost, it was the most spectacular loss that could have ever happened. I couldn't even be mad. I was just actually in awe every single time. I was like, wow, this is amazing. I'm pretty sure the, the delay in this single game has taken more time than all of the other four matches combined. So, uh, you know, just something to keep in mind. Maybe this is more like a little break. We're just taking a little intermission. We're having a little, 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 little league intermission here. I guess you can't say spoilers after saying the spoiler. That's true. That does kind of contradict the 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 warning. Oh, by the way, that was a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, good times. I mean, I'm sure no one was watching the video being like on pins and needles, being like, God, I hope he wins match. I hope he wins all these matches. And I, I also don't think anyone watched the, the first two two rounds, and then they came to watch the stream, and they were like, Man, I was waiting on the third round. I feel like in terms of spoilers, as far as spoilers go, this is pretty minimal. But, you know, who knows? Who am I to say, you know? 
I'm just a man with a stream. It's a Martin Luther King reference. He was also a man with a stream. That's what I heard. I usually watch them before bed because my two dads tell me stories. Helps. <laughs> Oh my god. That's gas. Well, I mean, after you have a tough day and you can't get any chicken, it's, uh... I can only imagine that it's rough to get to sleep. I would be tossing and turning all night. Having those KFC nightmares. Pull up Netflix, let's watch a movie or something. I hear that new Altered Car... I heard, I've also heard Altered Carbon is pretty good. I think we're winning this match, and it's not any in any way that I would have expected to win this match. So they cast Lightning Bolt at 11-11, so we actually have, like, maybe about a minute before they come back. So, I guess we won a match, which is pretty sick. Is Altered Carbon... Is anybody, did anybody watch Fringe? I was a big fan of Fringe. Just the name Altered Carbon makes me think it's similar to Fringe. Although I have no idea because I have, you know, no literally no reference for that show whatsoever. It could be literally nothing like it. I have no idea. But it reminds me of a of a Fringy show. Hey, we won. Cool. Good, good game. Good game. Everybody played hard. I was. I also wanted to rewatch Fringe. Fringe was a great show. I think it was really unappreciated. It had a lot of high concept. It felt like a modern X Files. It had a lot, a lot of high concept stuff, but um, it was enjoyable to watch. It was fun. I liked all the characters too. Malted Bourbon? I don't know if I don't know if that's correct. I don't know if there are any Netflix shows named Malted Bourbon. Whether that's a flaw within Netflix, I, I can't say, but you know, what are you gonna do? Eh, what are you gonna do, you know? Well, we're not finished yet, we got one more round, so Yeah, I was also sad. I, I didn't understand when they were, like, rushing it and they had low ratings. I was just like, but why? Are people just not watching this show? It's very good. And then I always wonder if a show is as good as I think it is. Because I think sometimes I like shows for different, very, very different reasons than a critic might like a show or a critic might dislike a show. So That guy's like, tap to land. Make you wait ten minutes. GG's. I have not played Slay the Spire. I'm pretty sure Matthew Ori donated money so I could pick up Slay the Spire because people have seemed to people have seemed to be enjoying it. I think my man crush is Ryan Gosling. Oh, uh, I actually like this hand. I'm gonna keep it. I'll keep it. Here we go. Mountain. Bloodstain Mire. That's that's aggressive. Into Mountain. Into Goblin Guide. Into Mountain. Into Goblin Guide. <sighs> I can literally watch Ryan Gosling in any movie. He can be funny. He can be... Uh, he can be serious. Like, two of my favorite movies are like Drive. Uh, the Nice Guys is one of my favorite movies. It's, I think it's rare for an actor to just be taken incredibly seriously and then also be able to play comedic roles. Like, uh, even Crazy Stupid Love was a great movie. I mean, it was... It was Steve Carell and... Uh, and Ryan Gosling, so it's real hard to not like it. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang was also very good. I think that's a criminally underrated movie as well. I've seen it once... I really enjoyed it, and then I forgot about it for the longest time because it's just so 
out of the mainstream. Like, no one talks about it. And it's Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer, which is really weird. I don't want either of these cards. We have four lands. Gosling definitely has the magnetism. No joke. See, there was a follow-up to drive. I didn't even know it because it's just not worth my time. I, who, who's got the time? Wow. All right, so it's just another... Oh, boy. It's just another red mono, just a red burn deck. I understand. I tried to get through Only God Forgives. I couldn't do it. Maybe that's me. Maybe that's on me. But... I think Ryan Reynolds would win in a battle between Ryan Gosling and Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds has the new, like, the, the superhero body now. Um, I think he also had it in Green Lantern. Whereas Ryan Gosling has no reason to bulk up in such a way. Like, Ryan Gosling's fit, but he's not built to be to play a superhero role like uh, Ryan Reynolds is. I also did, like... Um, I also did like the new Blade Runner a lot. I don't like what's happening a lot though. I think uh I think I've about had it with the the red decks. Oh, Rift Bolt. All right. Okay. Skullcrack attack for I'll probably path this guy if you do something like we're going to take one from this stupid thing, but we're going to take two otherwise. Do, 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 do. So we take seven here. We go to five. And we just have to hope they don't have like burn burn. Oh, Lars and the Real Girl is also very good. Man. Dude, like, that's the thing. He's been in everything. He's like his range is fantastic. Plus, I look at him and I don't see like a pretentious actor. I'm just like, this is a dude I want to hang out with. I want to hang out with Ryan Gosling. So Ryan Gosling, if you happen to like my magic videos... Uh, let me know if you want to hang out. We'll get lunch. Maybe it's a long shot. Who knows? I don't think I've seen Stay. I have not. Ewan McGregor, Jenny Garofalo, and Ryan Gosling. Oh, man. Another Ryan Gosling movie? My God. How are there so many Ryan Gosling movies that I haven't seen? That's surprising to me. Oh, I'm a I'm a bigger notebook fan than than you'd probably think. I wrote you every day. Oh, here we go. Let's thirst. Let's get thirsty. We actually probably want to hold Citadel for, for longer than we do. Uh, I'll discard an art of, or an artichoke. It's got to be this guy. I hate doing it, but it's got to be. I don't think we just. I don't think we have the tools to beat the Eidolon deck, or like the the red decks rather. Which is really sad. You know what? Even if you've heard Ryan Gosling likes playing red decks, I would still want to meet him just so I can say it to his face that he needs to pick a different archetype. I'm just going to get this hollowed, hollowed Fontania. Yep, we're going to go to two if we kill this guy. That's unfortunate. We'll go to one if we crack this bad boy. Oh, we can actually... If we play Mindstone, we're dead. This guy's very good against us. I don't know if you guys knew that. All right. We'll go to... We'll go to Dose. Well, I'll shoot you with my lightning bolt. I don't have any hopes that we win this game. I'm going to play Mind Stone. And then I'm going to play Hollowed Fontaine. 
or we can play ruins but i think we're just dead like what what creature in their deck doesn't have haste isn't an eidolon did they not get a basic do they only have two mountains in their deck intriguing Um, I'm gonna actually. Oh God. We don't need double white for anything. I'm just gonna play this. Uh, because if we do want to thirst here, it just gives us a better chance of doing things that are important. Oh God. They're 100 percent gonna kill us. I have no desire to tap out for a thirst. They're probably just toying with us to see what our deck does. They're probably like, yeah, we can win, but I want to see what you're doing first. And I understand that. Here we go. Oh, why you do this? All right, let's see what happens. Boop, boop. In response, lightning bolt you. I mean, we we have nothing to draw that really... One, two, th I guess we could actually try to... Oh, I guess we got a tap of blue, huh? Hey, I guess we got a tap of blue, huh? We'll go blue. One, two. Get, let's get thirsty. All right, this is not going to do it. Yep, we know they have the card in their hand. What if we drew another card with be another remand? No. Yeah, I don't like remand here. I think, like, we just don't have time to cast it. We're, we want to tap out every single turn, whether it's for thirst or fabricate or mind stone or transmute. We just don't have time for to be remanding things. Uh, we'll definitely bring in all the ley lines. We'll bring in the B skull. Bring in the bridges. Take out fabricate and a thirst because they're a little expensive. We'll take out one blight steel. We'll bring in two canonistas. We'll take out one greaves for another canonista. I also think we can go down to two greaves too. Three greaves seems a bit much because the card doesn't do anything on its own. Like at least master transmitter is like the coolest card in the deck, and it could just do some tricks. Like you can block, bounce itself, or you can bounce uh, bounce something, put it in a snaring bridge into play, a bunch of bounce a batter skull, replay a batter skull to get the, the token. Like you can actually do a lot of cool stuff with um, Master Transmitter, but just having Lightning Greaves by itself with so few creatures in the deck. And also, a lot of times just being able to end of turn Blightning, Blightsteel Colossus without giving it haste is sometimes even better. But I will play first. I know, I know. God, tempted to mulligan just because two lands, three mana, three mana, three mana, four mana. I'm going to mulligan this hand. Ley line? Yeah, I'll take both. I'll take two ley lines. Two ley lines, a mulligan into an ensnaring bridge. Keep it. Put you on the bottom. Boop. Boop. Done. I think we can win. I, can, I think we can win based on this alone. Let's go get the other hollowed fountain. Just beat Jund, Abzan, and Prowse today at a modern event with turns. Lost the last round of my wife, who's on SpaghettiOs. Spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Glad to finally catch you. Never seem to get notifications in your life. That's weird. You should unfollow, then follow again. I don't know if that... I have no idea if that fixes it, but maybe. Or make sure notifications are turned on. These are my suggestions. I can't say they're good. Also, where's the Nykthos when you need it? Am I right? What is it? Lightning Greaves? I don't actually want a Lightning Greaves. Oh, that was a good draw. Let's play you. We'll get a... Island? Because otherwise we take two from Hollow Fountain, so I'd rather just take the one and assume that we can play this tapped at a certain point, which we can actually do next turn. 
we can just go these two and then have one card in hand. And then we have Leyline and Ensnaring Bridge up. Unless they go like... Oh, here we go. Destructive Revelry on Mindstone. I guess that doesn't do anything, really. Oh, Swift Spear. Okay. I guess we go to... We take five here? Oh, they gave me a land. So we could go... I guess we just go... Yeah, that's pretty rough. Actually, Goblin Guide's the, just the worst for ensnaring bridge. Again, right here, if we had access to Supreme Verdict, I'm like I I like I want to keep emphasizing just the, the 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 times where Supreme Verdict would be great for us because I think that's relevant. Um, because the more it happens, the more it seems like a good choice. I'm pretty sure that boy was one of my favorite memes. It was just so ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Let's see what Zaxor's got. With opponent gone, I can fill the time. I'm just going to spew out some random rhyme. This chat is amazing in some kind of way. I just love to watch this stream every day. Even though we have seen you been burned for like an hour, we in chat like that you don't go sour. Just fun magic and weird decks all day long with all weird meme and random song. A good night to chat and DJ Frank, of course, and just so you know, red decks are an evil red force. Peace. Oh, man. Good times. Good times. Watch, they're going to put two lands in our hand, and then we're just going to be like, well, I can't empty it fast enough. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think the modern meta in general doesn't dirtle as much as most local metas do. Here we go. Here we go. Oof. Oh. Oh, no, that doesn't do it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I guess we go to three here, which is not good. And we have one white now. Oh, that's brutal. I guess we're playing you. And then we'll block here. Eh. So... If they kill this with something, Monastery Sister becomes too big to attack. So that's kind of cool. We're still at three, though. And I think we 100% block. Because we die if they have some shenanigans. Oh, they attack first. Yeah, that makes sense. Attack. Lightning bolt our guy. I guess we go to one. Oh, God, you have something else, too? Oh, you can't play another spell, though, man. This is still in play. You just let it die and then play your thing. But I guess you don't have a target. You can't target. I guess you can target one of your own. Yeah, you just target yourself and then attack for three. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Yep. All right. Not ideal. Yeah, this was not the the best series of matchups for us, I, I imagine unfortunately all right either way um thank you so much for terminal blood Moon for letting me play this deck this deck was kind of awesome i i'm a big fan and i actually didn't feel terrible about a lot of our matchups um so you know if you look at the the league itself like we actually went o2 that was the only match we went o2 in other ones we went uh oh i guess we went o2 in uh the third round two against 
I forgot what we even played. Uh, I think it was just a burn deck, actually. But uh, the first two matches went 1-2, and I think a lot of those those matches would have been alleviated. <coughs> Ooh. Excuse me. By um, having access to Supreme Verdict, as you mentioned. Um, I also think Remand is just not great, because you rarely have the mana to cast it. Um, you'd rather be playing two drops, or, uh, you know, like two drops on that turn, or just keep up things like Thirst, if you also have Thirst in your uh, in your deck. Um, Neff Moondrex, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. 11 months in a row. Welcome back. Um, but, like, I think the things I would take out are one Lightning, one lightning Greaves. Um, I would almost take out one Fabricate, just because it's expensive, and you don't really have time to do that either. I would take those two out. I would take the three Remands out. And um, I would add maybe, like, two Supreme Verdicts and a couple other things that would just stall the ground. Maybe, like, something like Wall of Omens could be good. Or if there's, like, an artifact wall that you can play, I don't think there's anything that's really worth playing. Zaxor, two months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back, I guess, even though you've been here all along. Um, otherwise, I'd, I really like the idea of the deck. I think the deck is sweet. And it's a deck that, like, as you can see, even when I was losing against red deck after red deck, I was still having a good a good time. Spell Sky could actually be a good one. I actually think that's great because it, it kind of fulfills the same role as Lightning Greaves, where it can protect things like Master Transmuter. Um, but it's also a great option to, you know, save you from, like, a burn spell or, or you know, uh, Path to Exile or something. So it's actually, I think that's actually pretty good. Um... And it blocks creatures all day. So that's pretty awesome as well. So I think Spellskite's probably a great... I think two Spellskite, two, two Supreme Verdict would be a great place to start. Um, and I think you 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 probably got a good idea of what didn't didn't work from the matches the same way I did. Um, so hopefully you'll have some ideas going forward. But I, I definitely like the idea and I think it's it's a cool thing to revisit in the future. Um, and I, I definitely wouldn't give up on it because I think Modern is a sweet format that has room for decks like this even if they don't end up being Tier 1. So uh, on that note, Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys got some information out of this. Feel free to check out the deck. It's also down in the description below. Feel free to smash those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content. And I will see you tomorrow.